Hey folks, welcome, welcome. Today's Thursday. Normally a Divinity stream, but unfortunately people are not available today, so we're going to do something else. A little bit different today. Usually don't do art streams, but I need to get some stuff done. So, uh, let me show you what I'm working with here. Um, hold on, I'm trying to change some stuff around before I can actually show you what I'm working with. Uh, that goes there, that goes there. So I'm about to show you guys my desktop. And that's always a little bit scary. But I have everything tucked away that I don't want to show you. So okay, let's go ahead and just start this up. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I want a thumbnail. Let me show you what I'm working with here. So I have a thumbnail for RimWorld. I like to show off the planet. Um as kind of like an overarching, you know, this is what it's going to be like type of thing. So this is my current thumbnail for RimWorld. I kind of like this. This is not done by me. This is somebody doing their thing. It's actually pretty good here. You see some pitting along here. This is basically a show of what an exoplanet would look like. Um, an artist rendering. Um, you see like an atmosphere here, which is pretty good. Uh, some other stuff that's going on here. I like this. This is well done. That's why I took it. It's because I thought it was actually pretty well done. Um, but we've started a brand new colony in RimWorld, which means I need a new thumbnail. I like to differentiate the different colonies by thumbnails just so visually when I'm looking over the playlist, I can easily see which one I'm working with. Um, I've done that for colonies uh, one and two are using the same thumbnail. But then for three, I changed it up to this one here. And now we're on the, well, technically fifth colony because the fourth one was kind of just didn't work out too well. But the uh, the fourth and fifth colony are going to be using a different thumbnail. Now what I have currently is this one, which kind of works, but I'm not really all that thrilled about it. It's missing the atmosphere thing here. Um, really, the atmosphere might be the one big problem here. I have a couple of good places here. But I really think that we need to change this up a bit. At least not in an atmosphere, you know? I don't think this really works out. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So first thing I've got to do is I've got to generate a planet. Um, sounds like a big job, but it's actually not going to be that hard. Let me go into um, so my downloads. I've downloaded this map maker. This works with Photoshop. Um, I've already done this, but let me go ahead and just do it anyway. Um, I think I've already installed the ATN file. That's an action file. I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and reinstall it. Oh no, the action's still here. And sure enough, yeah, there it is. Dwarf Fortress right there. Okay, so I can just run that action and be good to go. Okay, assuming I am doing what I need to do. So let's look at the text file here and see what our instructions are. Always got to follow the instructions. Okay, this is designed for small maps only. That's not going to work for me. I'm probably going to need a large map. Okay, so 4112 squared. Gotcha. Let's do that right now. So let's change the canvas size here, or image size, whatever, uh, to 4112. Up by 4112. There you go. That's huge, but that's okay. Um, fit on the screen. There we go. I don't know if that matters to fit on the screen or not, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, what else do we need to do? We need access to legend modes, right? So we need to generate a world. So that's what we're going to do in Dwarf Fortress, because that's the best way, I think, to generate the world, and that's what these instructions are based on. So, games. Um, is it in games? No, I put it on my data folder. That's right. Okay, so I've got Dwarf Fortress here. It's kind of an old version. I think it's on 4405 right now, but this should still work for our purposes. Um, let me just kill all the saves I have right now because I want to make sure I'm not confused. And I don't think I'm doing anything in Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, this goes back pretty far. I did make a world on the 16th, but we can go ahead and kill all that. It's fine. It's a lot of files. I might as well save up a little bit of space here. 12,000 files. Yeah, the worlds get really complicated in Dwarf Fortress. We're basically just doing this to get a map. Um, we're going to get maps that look, well, like this. These BMP files. We're going to need to rename these, so I'll just go ahead and delete these now. 
And anything with region in it, we can do go ahead and kill. No big deal. Alright. So going to Dwarf Fortress. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there's no way to extract the world data from RimWorld. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Um, but this will work for our purposes. So I'm going to go and design a new world here. And I apologize it's not in full screen, but it's actually better if Dwarf Fortress isn't in full screen right now. So we're going to do a large region. I'm going to add in enter advanced parameters here. Um, so basically... I mean, I could put in a seed, um, but I think it has to be numeric. No, it doesn't. Okay. So if I do, like, I sing the body electric. Oh, okay. So it does have a character limit. I sing the electric. Yeah, that totally works. All right. There you go. Um, we're not going to put in a history seed or a name seed or a creature seed because none of those matter. This seed is used for generating the terrain. That's what I really want. I want different terrain. So that should be fine. Escape. And I believe I just hit enter here and it'll just go ahead and generate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. I want to make sure the end year is also really soon. So yeah, year two. I do not want them building roads and anything else that's going to change my terrain. So that's probably what I want. All right, now go ahead and enter and go. All right, it's going to generate the portentous planet. All right, sure, why not? Why not, indeed? Why not? You know, portentous, it can be portentous if it wants to be. This might take a little bit. It's not going to take too long. It's got to generate all the rivers and all that good stuff. Set my temperature maps. Now, it does look like it's taking some right angles here, but I think that's going to be fixed up in post. I don't know exactly what that does. We'll figure it out. If it looks a little bit too square, we'll see if we can round the edges or something. Still, though, this looks neat. It's got some mountains around right here. I and mean, this looks like a world I'd want to play in. I think my main problem... Yeah, if I look back at that thumbnail... Let me go back there while this is generating. If I look back at my thumbnail... And YouTube resources down here. I did generate some more of these thumbnails, but I'm on looking at it. I'm less and less happy with it. Um, yeah, looks like there's less oceans than I'd really like, and I think that's not as represented in our world. I think our world is like it's definitely dominated by a huge continent, and we did generate an entire world. I guess we could launch RimWorld temporarily and see what that world's like. Um, probably don't want to run Dwarf Fortress and RimWorld at the same time. So we'll hold off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's done. Um, we'll just accept this world. I'm not going to be able to see exactly what this looks like until I go to Legends mode. So let's start playing. Region 1, go to Legends. And then we follow the instructions here, exactly what we need to do. Just in case I do want this world, I want to do it properly. So we need a biome plus site map, right? So let's go push this off here. There we go. Okay, so I need... Um, let's export map and gen info. So that's P. It's not going to tell me it's done it, but it has done it. Um, we go to D. And yeah, standard biome and site map. So that one. This one it tells me it's done it because it's actually got to process data. Do, 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 do. There you go. Okay. And, oh, okay, I did just generate another, that's just done. So D here, and I want the elevation, including the Lakes and Ocean floors. Gotcha. Do, 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 There you go. And elevation is respecting water level. Check. I guess I shouldn't say check until it's actually done, huh? Ah, well, no big. Also notice I'm peeking a little bit on Twitch. Let me drop that sucker down by a bit here. Um, there. That should do. There we go. That's much better. All right. Um, t temperature. Where I'm at. Temperature. Boop. Boop's almost like a check, except it tells you when something's done, or when something's in pr 
process or started rather than it's actually done. Uh, volcanism is next. So there you go. Do, 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 do. Okay, and current vegetation. Very important for letting me know whether something's supposed to be green or brown, basically. Good to go. Yeah, all right. And then the final one is salinity. Not sure what that's used for, but sure. I mean, I'm going to trust the maker of this map maker uh, filter, so we'll be good there. All right, I think we're good. Let's go and escape and quit and get a good idea of what we're working with here. So it'll be in the Dwarf Fortress folder. So we have a couple of maps here. We have the detailed and we have the world map. Um, so we look at the world map here. Give me just photos, it's fine. Okay, yeah, it's basically one big continent. I think what I might want instead is... So let me look at Rome World here. Um, shit, no, the trouble is if I launch Rome World, well, I can immediately pause and then generate the world. That might be okay. I'm just thinking that it's going to technically count against my time. Hold on, why, why am I looking at stuff that's not even installed? Rome World, there you go, play. So let's look at this and see what the world looks like. It's going to take a little bit to load up here because I have some mods. Like, that's not my world. Like, I have more oceans than that, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to want to generate something close, but it's not going to be perfect. Interesting, though, he has some lights over there. That does make sense. Oh, really? Still? Okay, whatever. Um, so load the game here. I think it'll start paused. Hopefully. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. I just want to see what this looks like before we jump in too hard here. It did start paused. Great. So let's go to world map. And of course, I could take a picture from here, but it's going to have a bunch of icons. Well, actually, will it? Hold on. Is this actually going to be easier than I think? Can I just make it so the icons don't show up? So I can zoom out. Can I shut off the icons? I don't see a way to do that. Oh, wait, here we go. Holy shit. Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't know you could shut off the icons. We can totally just shut off the icons and then take a picture right here. That would do it. That would do it. Um... All right, fuck it, let's do it. That is not what I plan to do today, but okay. All right, yeah, that is totally not what I plan to do today. I thought I was gonna have to go into like Bryce and shit, which I might still be able to do. Can I, I wanna be able to extract this map is the thing. I don't know how to do that. Open save data folder, and we can look at this. So inside the saves folder. Okay. I have no idea what the planet is called. It might be called Herfenor. I don't know. Just tell me what the planet's called. Um, let's look on factions here. Nope, that doesn't tell me. History? No, it tells me my colony history. That's not important right now. Um, I mean, Herfenor might be the name of the planet. I don't know. That is not telling me anything. Colonist bar. I mean, we don't need that either. Or that, or that. Okay, I like the day-night cycle, though. We should definitely keep that. Um... The thing is, we still have to add an atmosphere here. I mean, you can kind of see it, right? You can kind of see it there. A little bit. It's thin as fuck, but it is there. Huh. Huh. I mean, I don't even know where we are. Where are we? Oops, not that. This. Where are we? 
Oh, there we are. Okay, we are on the dark side. All right. Um, though, if I click on it... I did not choose a position of the sun. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It will when you're first setting up a colony, but I don't think otherwise. All right. So, that's fine. So, right about there. Give me a print screen. So, we'll open up... This might be easier than I thought. But, I mean, the general purpose was to look at this and see how much ocean we have in relation to land. We do basically have one giant continent for sure, but it's structured differently than what we'd all otherwise have, right? Yeah, that is not the same as the map we just looked at. Not the one Dwarf Fortress did. Okay. It's good to know. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, saving quit. Uh, we have to save. It's unfortunate. It's just how it goes. Okay. So, we've got a bunch of stuff here. I don't know why it says RWS old. Try to edit this with Notepad. What do we get? It's a fairly large file. 11 megabytes. Notepad++ should be able to handle it, though. Okay, so these are the mods we're using. Okay, Rich Explorer. These are the scenarios. Psychoid Brewing. Bunch of shit. Archive Dialogue. Okay, so this actually looks like one of the previous colonies. Yeah, because there's uni unification of pieces there. You can sort this by date. That's got to be the new world right there. Yeah, okay, so close that one. That's got to be it. All right, so edit with notepad. I mean, it might just have a seed we can plug in. Although, okay, so those are mod CDs. Game, real play, interacting. Um, what? That is 186 hours. That is not... That doesn't line up unless that's minutes or something. That's weird. Anyway, let's not worry about it. It's okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, ticks, game start, starting year, play settings. I'm looking for anything that looks like a, some kind of seed. So, right, we're playing as Randy. Saved his piece, starting time. And then a bunch of history stuff here. A bunch of statistics, but no, um, no, nothing to generate the world as far as I can tell. I mean, there's a bunch of other shit in here. Right, I mean, it generated a bunch of stuff from the seed, and I think that's what we're seeing here. But since it doesn't want to generate that more than once, it saved the, what the result was. Oh, right. The seed string is Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I totally forgot about that. Okay, but the persistent random value is much shorter. That might be derived from the seed string. Which would make sense. Okay, so first of all, let me drop in the picture we have. So let me open up a new thing here. Uh, we'll say 150 because I don't know what I need to manipulate it with. And then go ahead and paste this in. Okay, so that's that's our rim world right there. I and mean, we could manipulate this to kind of get an atmosphere effect. Don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but we could do it. Um, the alternative might be stripping away everything except for the world here. Like, I could do that by um, doing that and that. And then stripping away the stars and Bob's your uncle. Crop that. Probably crop away everything else too. Like, give me that and that. And then just have the planet here. Hmm. Probably pretty good. Let me go ahead and save. Let me just put in a new 
and just do the raw one just to save it there. But this could be good to have. Um, then let's select this. So give me a color range here. I want you to select the black. Yeah. And then reverse that. And what happens if you get rid of that? Whoops. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. You should be able to inverse that, though. Inverse is a little better. Interesting. Um, not what I expected or intended, but still kind of works out. We can totally fill in those blues, maybe. It's kind of weird. Space is apparently a dark blue. Who knew? Who knew indeed? Space is dark blue. According to RimWorld, anyway. Um, we could fill that in with a dark blue later. You can kind of see where the atmosphere is, though. So there, it is there. It just looks super thin. I guess, let me see what it's like on planet Earth. Oops, okay. So, Earth. All right, simple, easy. Just want images of Earth. So, yeah. Paper thin. Paper fucking thin. Look at that. I mean, by comparison, you know, 20,000... Is it 20,000? Yeah, 20,000 feet of atmosphere? No, 50,000 feet of atmosphere is what that looks like. From that distance, that far away. Yeah. Yeah, the curvature is about right. Yeah, that's super fucking thin. Okay, so it looks like Romworld's got it right. So then the one I have... Um, where? Where'd I put it? <laughs> nope, not Twitch resources. YouTube. Okay, so... Yeah, I have nothing at all, which looks a little bit weird, but I need just a, just a hair. Just a smidgen. You can... Yeah, you can kind of fool yourself into thinking that's it over there, but it isn't. Okay. But yeah, we just need... Like, this is not going to work for me, right? So, we could change the Dwarf Fortress setting. The thing is, I need a flat map that I can wrap around a sphere. And this is a sphere, all right, but it's not... I mean, this might work better as just a thumbnail. I could just grab that and be good to go could work but it doesn't look realistic and i'd like it to at least pretend to look realistic i think i can get that with the fantasy map generator instead so let's try let's try adjusting the dwarf fortress settings and see what we can get so we have the seed we used i have no idea if dwarf fortress uses the same kind of world building algorithm as rim world probably not but we'll try it anyway so let's go do um right let's go back to dwarf fortress okay so let's create a new design a new world All right and let's go for island i guess right we want to actually we don't want a large region we're large island let's do an advanced parameters here so what we want is obviously we want two years there I want to adjust the seed to be working off of that number. So give me the seed here. That number is going to be four, two, seven, two, five, five, four, five, two. No idea if that'll work, but we'll find out. Okay. Now we also want to make sure. Okay, the elevation stuff I think is fine to leave as is. The maximum elevation we can do 3,200. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, maximum elevation here is from 400. That's fine. So basically from below sea level to above sea level. That's great. Um, so I'm not going to bother with those at all. If there's like a surrounding ocean thing, though, I should probably do that. Really, Dwarf Fortress isn't about generating an entire planet. It's about generating um, a region. And that's why it's called region. But we'll see what we can do for this. So savagery, I'm not going to worry about at all. Pole. Um... North and south. Yes, I want north and south poles. Mountain peak number. I don't. I don't need two hundred of them. 
200 is the max. That's the minimum. That's pretty crazy. Let's put the minimum down to, like, maybe two. All right. Partial edge oceans. All right, here we go. I want you to surround... Do I want you to surround? Let's go three. Then you can do four if you want. Complete edge oceans. So that's a partial edge. If we're going to stitch the world around, that should be fine. Complete edge means we just have... Um, we have like an ocean dividing a continent, which could be okay. I'm going to say zero, which I think translates to none. Yeah, that's minimum. We'll see what the algorithm gives us. Volcano number 100 is pretty crazy. Let's go again to like two. I mean, on a whole planet, it's kind of a big thing. The mineral scarcity I don't care about. Titan numbers don't care about. I think everything else we should be okay with. I don't care about any of these. That's all just going to be done as it normally would be. My number of subregions is to max, which is fine. If I was actually playing this, I'd adjust a lot more of these settings, but I don't think any of this matters. All right, so we're done. Let's go ahead and generate this. Not going to save it. It's fine. And see if that changes things up enough. It looks like it's definitely created a couple of more open areas, which is good. And maybe the persistent round of value will actually give me a map I'm going to be happy with. We'll see. This is going to take a little bit, though. I'm hoping this number actually gave us something good. Rainfall is a little bit more. Temperature a little bit colder. I wonder if I should have factored that in. Map size is only 275. 275 what? Yeah, I'm not understanding a lot of these world types of vanilla, except it isn't, though, because I specifically put it as one of the mods. It's more of a forest way, but I guess maybe they only have vanilla. Yeah, anyway, we'll figure it out. I mean, yeah, I could craft something. The thing is, I want to wrap it around a sphere. I want to be able to show something, I don't know, unique. I think this is the best way to build something unique. I'm going to have to, like, do a double sphere, though. I'm going to have to wrap, like, this a transparent sphere around a solid sphere, and that's going to be tricky. So I'm not very good at Bryce, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, the K population really doesn't matter, game. If you were just go ahead and give me... There you go. That worked. All right. Thank you. Um, so go ahead and export that image. And there's my cursor. All right. So you exported the image. I should see a region 2 here. There it is. World map. Let's look at this. Um, That's better. Oh. No, that's region 2. That's region 1. What? Okay, what's going on here? Region 2, that's what I want. Yeah, that's definitely better. There's a little bit more open area there if we compare that to Region 1. Uh, definitely less spots. Yeah, yeah, this could work out. If we only show a region of it, that should be okay. Okay, so we want to create these. So let me just go ahead and wipe this so I don't get confused. And then we'll go ahead and generate according to the map instructions here. Okay, so accept. Yeah, just wrap all that up. Thank you. There you go. Start playing. Region 2, Legends. And let's generate those maps again. Okay, so detailed map. I want standard biome. It's going to be like 256, I think. 256 columns. Yeah, or 257, it looks like. That's weird. Um, let's see. Elevation site, that one. It's Lake and Ocean Floors. Okay, and then respecting water level. Okay, and then 
temperature. And then volcanism, there should be very little of that now, which actually might account for a lot more of the water showing now. I do like volcanoes in Dwarf Fortress because they're just magma is so freaking useful, but in RimWorld, less so. Though, if you could actually make, like, if you could actually embark on a volcano in RimWorld, that might be really good. I mean, you have to figure out how to manage the magma, but still, it seems like that could be extremely good. All right, so that'll do. And quit. Okay, so now I've got to rename these. So I don't care about world map, but I care about these. So this is going to be called region. This one's going to be called EL. This one's ELW. Just following along. It's going what it says here, SAL. This one's TMP. This one's VEG. This one's VOL. And that's the world map which we don't do anything with. Okay, now the funky thing about this particular script, this has to be placed at the root of the C drive. On Windows 10, that is a restricted area. Fortunately, I'm admin on my own machine, as everyone should be. But it is going to require some special permissions here. So I'm just going to copy these, go to my C drive, and paste. And sure enough, it's active for administrator. I know what I'm doing most of the time. Not all the time, but thank you for asking. Okay, so that's done. So, okay, open Photoshop, load the map thing, which I did. Locate dwarffortress.atn, which is there. Um... Right, so then open up the action wind script window. Um, so let me just go ahead and start from, uh, no, I want to keep you where you are. Um, let's save this somewhere so I don't lose it. Um, sure, YouTube resources, we'll call this um, Rome World Screenshot. I can spell today, I swear. Yep, that's fine. All right, that closes you. I don't think I want to keep you, so I just lose that one entirely. That's fine. Let's close this to make sure, and then we'll open it up again. Um, so that was in my downloads folder, map maker, and the SML map. Because it said don't arrange anything, right? The only thing you're supposed to arrange is change the size. So 4112. It says control alt i. Let's do that and see what that does. Control Alt I. Oh, it's the image size. All right, four one one two. There you go. Let's put that on its screen. That says don't arrange anything, so I'm not going to touch anything else. Hit the play button at the bottom of the panel and wait until it's done. Select create region map on the grid folder Dwarf Fortress. So create my region map. So we want to select. There you go and play now it's going to load all the stuff we just generated out of the dwarf fortress and it's going to create a fantasy map Let's see how well it does but um so far i'm not impressed okay continue anyway continue anyway continue anyway. i don't want to don't know why make isn't available that's weird that seems like that would severely hinder what it's trying to do here. Yeah, I can't help but feel like that totally fucked up. If I like drop these colors, oh, there we go. Okay, just hit a couple of stuff. It's probably supposed to smooth a layer or something. This actually looks kind of cool. We have a north and south pole, it looks pretty decent. I mean, the poles are huge, but we can fix that in post. Zoom in here. I'm liking this. This actually looks really good. I was a little bit worried when it wasn't able to pull in a bunch of the make options, but this looks pretty good. Everything is connected, and it definitely doesn't look anything like a room world, but this is probably workable. A lot more mountains and stuff, but that's okay. 
Yeah, we could probably make this work. All right, I'm gonna save this. Uh, I'm thinking it has to be a JPEG to work in Bryce. Um, I can save it in MapMaker, sure. So we'll do, this is RimWorld.jpg. Uh, JPEG. Sure, max quality, why the hell not? All right, so having taken this, let's go open up Bryce. Um, Bryce Harper. No, no, there should be a Bryce, should be a Bryce program. Computer, I'd like my Bryce program, please. Seriously, I know I installed it. Oh, Daz Productions and then Bryce. Okay, so why the hell didn't that show up in search? Windows, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? Okay, so this is version 5.5. .5. I think it got to 7.0 before they killed it and replaced it with other stuff, but for the most part, this should just work. So if you guys have never played with Bryce before, um, this is an old, old, old version. So I don't know how, um, how it'll work most of the time. So I want a space setting here. So let me shut off the atmosphere. Okay, so now we've got... Um, so the preview window up here will tell me exactly what it's going to look like here. Also want to shut off the ground, so that goes away. Okay, I want it to be nighttime, so I think I double click here. Yeah, so sun, moon, visible, oh, that off. I don't want to turn on the sun. Uh, shadows are probably good. We definitely want celestial and we want stars. Um, let's give me a shit ton of stars. All right, 10,000 stars, that sounds good. Um, still not gonna show me, huh? All right, so. I like flip this to like nighttime. No, he's still being a dick. All right. Shut off the atmosphere, shut off the clouds. Should be like no cloud cover. No nothing. All right. Just drag these all to the left. They should have nothing in them. Still not doing it, huh? The hell's the deal here? Should see what's the full scene here. What's going on? Be celestial and stars. And I've got a whole lot of nothing going on here. Give me a sky dome. The sky dome should be black. That's right. What the hell? All right. So we'll do this the hard way. Fine. Let's do this the hard way. Uh, give me a plane of infinite. Yeah, give me an infinite plane. And we're going to rotate this. Um, so it's standing up. There you go. Standing up and facing that way. Okay. Now this is technically transparent right now, so we're gonna have to give it a give it a map. So I want this to look like. Um, give me a procedural texture. No. I think clouds. That's only gonna give me clouds. Where's star? Oh, stars. There we go. Stars. See if that works. Can't help but notice that it's not working. Even if I render this, yeah, all I'm getting is blue. That's not right. That's not right. The hell isn't it giving me? All right. Like that's obviously daytime. Let's turn that off. Turn that on. Maybe it's the. Okay, can I, there's no, there's no preset here for just a starry night sky. So I'm missing it. Let's see. Well, that's neat. I like that. Good vibes. All right. Um, tempting, tempting. Not what I'm after right now, but maybe later. That could be some interesting settings right there. Let's see. There's a typical Bryce night, which is basically nothing. Because the night, dark night with deep blue cast and thick blue haze. Okay, that is potential. Um, don't think it's gonna do the the stars though. Um, this still could work out. Not wild about the fog, but I think otherwise it should be okay. No idea why this isn't rendering at all. Let's go to that. I don't know what that is. Um, the director's box, I think. So if I like rotate around this, um, rotate here. Yeah. Okay. So we got some kind of box in front of us. Let me get rid of that. 
I can't seem to get rid of it. Can I drop it to the floor? I can. Um, there being no floor right now kind of makes that a moot point. But anyway, let's create ourselves a sphere. Okay, the sphere is going to render. Great. Okay, so we want to put our map on the sphere or this texture. So let's do that. So I want to create a texture here. And it's going to be an image texture. Not one of those. That'd be silly. Um, let's choose our image here. So I can do that. Source editor. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go to my downloads folder, right? So downloads, map maker, Rome world. Okay. Gotcha. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Only doing diffuse right now, but we should probably push everything else up. Like, should have a little bit of ambient light, I think. Oh, wow, that's a little bit too much. Drop that down. Okay, maybe not. Maybe no ambiance for you at all. It's got to have a little bit. Definitely no transparency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be okay there. All right, so click this. Um, let's zoom in a bit here. So drag the camera in and see what we got. Okay, I mean some definite good shadows here. I'm liking it. There's no way the sun should be coming in from that high though. It should be off should be off over here, right? Or something like that. So that's not gonna work for me. But it's closer. It's definitely closer. So okay, see the sun should be coming. See the sun is in a weird place. If I do it like there, be down a little bit. The preview window helps out so much here. Down a little bit there. Over a little bit. Over that way. Nope, too far. Okay, that could work. Draw me down a little bit. Over. Oop, too far. That could work. Let's render this. Okay, alright. I mean, this is pretty cool. We're still missing the whole atmosphere thing and we need stars in the background, but this is progress. Yeah, I'm liking this. The trees are maybe a little bit too uh, too vibrant right now, but that's okay. So how are we going to put a second sphere over this for the atmosphere? Good question. All right, let's, um, let's go back to the edit mode. All right. So can I, like, copy and paste? I don't see, you know, right-click did nothing for me there. Let's see what this is. This is demo marker on and off. Spray rendering. No, that's going to work. All right, if we do a create another sphere, put it down there. Can I put it like over this? Just make it slightly bigger. Can I do that? So edit and then just make it bigger. Not too much bigger, just a little bit. Okay, it is going over. That's great. So we need to edit this material. We are going to make this extremely transparent. Um, pretty transparent, like there maybe, and give it, let's see, a cloud bump maybe. Okay, I mean, clouds are usually like spirals and shit. Is there not a good cloud bump for this? That one's more stratify than anything. I'm not really wild about that one. That's okay. That looks kind of like the moon. That's, no, that's not going to work. Cosmic or cumulus? That doesn't really work. What does cosmic do? Nope. Um, summer clouds? Not a big fan. I mean, really, I'm not sure how much this preview is actually going off galaxy. Interesting mapping, but I'm not wild about that either. Low smog? No, no, no. We need a bump map instead. Let's see. Go Earth. That is just a plain nothing. Um, let's see. Islands? Some dotting, but I'm not wild about it. Now. Nebula is no, just a plain nothing. I don't get the nothing. 
Storm. How about... Okay, no, that storm's not going to work. Stormy? It's apparently two kinds of stormy. Don't understand that, but sure. Um, no, that's just stratifying it. That's not really doing much for me at all. Uh, Turbu Cloud. I like the name, but I'm not sure I like the result. I mean, Turbu Cloud's two. No, how about Uranus? What's Uranus all about? Now, again, more stratified than anything else. Um, atmosphere? Okay, let's at least try this and see what this is going to do. So that's going to be apparently way, way too thick. We need to make that way more transparent. Let's do like 80% transparent and see how well that does. That still looks way too thick, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the reflection is just way too high on it. So we need to turn that shit like all the way down or something. All right. All right. Like, it's specular, it's ambient, it's way too everything. So let's see if we can change this up. So... Reflection should be zero. Ambient's, like, all the way down. Diffusion, maybe? Okay, we need at least a little bit of diffusion, otherwise just not going to show up. No refraction, though, right? It should not be refracting. Well, well, it should be refracting a little bit. Yeah, and refraction is like, it changes the, it changes, so basically when light hits it, it doesn't bounce, but it kind of curves slightly. So we wanted to do at least a little bit of that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, okay, we've got apparently an atmosphere layer. We'll let this completely render before we decide what's going on. The circle in the middle here may not be what I want, but at least it does appear to have an atmosphere. And it definitely softens the kind of really bright green, so I think I think this could work. Yeah, this circle here is not going to work for me. All right. Um, let's go back to edit here and edit that for sure. So we need to make the refraction... There we go. That could be better. 92 looks like where we want to be. Yeah, 66 is not going to do it. Somewhere in the 90s. We can try 80s. Uh, well, maybe. Let's go. I mean, 90s might be where we want to be. You can see the edge of the circle right there. It might be a little bit too much. Let's go 100 maybe. 107. Nope, that's, that's a little too far. 102? 102 might do it. I mean, I think I can type in values, right? Oh, yeah, I can totally type in values. How about just straight up 100? There you go. Hundo is the way to go. All right. Let's try this. Still want to figure out, like, how to do the starscape, but we'll, we'll work on that. I mean, the first thing to do is figure out the planets. Okay, yeah, we've got a little bit of an atmosphere there. We might want to colorize that, though. Right now, it looks like the atmosphere is gray which probably doesn't really work. Still, though, I think we're on the right track. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah, this, this almost works. Okay, good. Um, give me some color, though, I think. So we can do like a, an ambient of blue here, maybe? Not a... Not a dark blue, but like a little bit of a light blue. Let's see what that does. If anything. That seemed to do nothing. Okay. I was really expecting it to do something there. It might be too transparent to be able to make that work. Maybe we need... Um, let's see. Specular? Try it. See how well that goes. Um, yeah, somewhere around the same blue. It's not going to do anything for me. Unfortunately, the preview is not going to help me here because it's just too small. That kind of looks like it's still gray. Am I just not understanding what these settings are? I mean, that's very possible. All right. Manipulate and... Hmm. Hmm. And we could go... That's not really going to help. 
It might be too transparent. Let's drop this down to like 70s maybe. Maybe it needs to be able to pull in the color and it can't. And maybe a little bit of ambient. How about that? Yeah, that might work out. Because right now we have like no cloud cover, right? We're going purely for atmosphere. We need some kind of cloud to interrupt the terrain. That might be too much, but we'll see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is way too much. But it does add kind of a neat amount of life to it. That's kind of neat. I mean, it's a good it's a good start. I don't know why this is all dark on this side. That seems very weird. It could be the ambient light. Yeah, if the ambient... We really don't want ambience, do we? We want... Um, but it looks like... That did improve the atmosphere a bit. Made it more white instead of gray, which is good. Okay, okay. I mean, we're learning, right? We're learning. We're learning how to deal with this stuff. Oh, we even got a little bit of a start of a storm over here. Okay, that's neat. It looks like it's starting to circle over there, too. Okay, so this is what I expect an atmosphere to be, is like full of whirls and circles and kind of random shapes. This totally works for me. We just need to tone it down a little bit, but for the most part... I think we're starting to get in the right neighborhood. Okay, great. Um, so. So that's good. Let's knock that down. Oh, wow. Ambiance is down to zero. So how do we knock this down without going crazy? Okay, so the diffusion, maybe we knock down a little bit, right? Start to 27. Start that down to, let's say, below 20. Let's go 18, I think, is good. Transparency, let's bump that up to, let's say, 80. And see how well that goes. So we got to move incrementally here. I don't think we can really go in giant steps. But we'll see how far that goes. If we still have a little bit of like a total dark spot over here, which I'm not totally getting. It might be due to the diffusion. Still, though, I really like the way the circle... I mean, we could always zoom in and kind of just make it so that you just don't see that edge of the world. But I'd rather it just make sense. Right now, the shadows just don't make any sense to me. Still, though, we're making good progress. Um, all right, so, oops, not what I want to do there. There you go. Okay, so let's drop, well, let's push transparency up to like 90. Uh, let's put the refraction, or refraction of air. Yeah, let's put that down to 80 though and see if that works. Okay, interesting, it seemed to have changed the pattern. Not sure what exactly that means. Um, let's see. Specular doesn't seem to do anything for me. Definitely don't want it to be metallic. Bump height, though. That could be interesting. We do diffusion here. Maybe we want to make it... Yeah, that apparently increases the lightness there. So let's, think, let's drop that by... Let's go down to like 10. Let's see what that does. We still have a weird shadow area over here. Yeah, our pattern did change a little bit. Not too much. Oh, but the refraction level. That's right. The refraction level is still going to be weird. Right, right, right. That's why we had it up to 100. That's right. I remember. I remember. Okay, push that back up. Yeah, because otherwise that's really weird. Okay. Um. Hmm. So what if I do spectacular there? Or specular, rather. And diffusion is there, but it's the wrong color. Maybe if I make it diffuse in the blue color, it'll definitely make that more blue. Yeah, but then that'll make the clouds blue. We don't want the clouds to be blue, do we? We want the clouds to be white. Actually, if we do this, that'll base it on the map. Which maybe is what we want. So let's try that. Still having some weird shadow just on the very, very edge. Oh, but it's got, definitely got a blue atmosphere tinge there. So it is, seems to be reflecting from the inner sphere, which is good. And I'm liking this. I think maybe, maybe the cloud map's a little bit too busy. But it's definitely better. It's better than what I currently have, that's for damn sure. We'll let this finish running. It's only taking another three minutes. It's not too much. 
Hmm. Yeah, this over here on the side is really bothering me. We could always move the sun. It's a great sentence. I love being able to say that. We should be able to move the sun. Um, so the shadow here uh, will be on the other side of the sphere and we just ignore it. It'll change a couple of aspects around here, but I think that might be okay. But yeah, we'll let this finish rendering and see what else we can nitpick. I'm liking the idea of the atmosphere, but maybe we need to choose another map that's less busy. Or increase the transparency. I think we're on the right path with these clouds. And, you know, if you look at a picture of the Earth, which we just did, right? Look at a picture of the Earth. Here. Oh, okay, actually, that's like a cloudless day. Holy shit. It's a little scary, actually. Um, but you do, like, here, look at that. You can barely even tell that's the United States you're looking at there. Actually, that's not the United States. I am wrong. That is Australia, I think. No, what is this? That looks like Africa, right? Because you got the Sudan and... Yeah, that's the Dead Sea right there. Yeah, so that's that's Africa right there. But look at the cloud cover. Look at this. And then look at what we have generated here. That's not exactly close, but... In the same ballpark, I'm pretty sure. Definitely should be more clouds to the south, which makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so first thing we got to do is move the sun. So the the weird shadow on the right-hand side is gone. I mean, I'd like to adjust it some other way, but I don't know how, so we're just going to basically do that just to basically ignore it. Uh, diffusion might do it. But it also kind of would make the planet glow, and we really don't want to do that. But we've got a good little atmosphere here. I think we just increase the transparency for the outer sphere, and we should be good. We're almost done rendering. Man, back in the day, when I first got this program, so first of all, thanks, props to my dad, because I was always interested in this. Um, I've always been interested in 3D modeling. And my dad wanted to encourage me, so he bought me Bryce. And this is the version of Bryce he bought me ages ago. I um, actually might have actually been version three way back in the day. Um, and I think I bought version five by five by by myself. But dad's the one who started this, so props to my father for encouraging this kind of behavior. And but the thing is, what I wanted to say was that back in the day, a render like this would have taken. Probably about six hours. But modern day computers have made this so much faster. Graphics cards are so incredibly powerful now. That's something that would have taken six hours to render. Now we can do it in under five minutes. That's amazing. Yeah, the more I look at the cloud cover, the more I think it might be a little bit too busy. It's definitely... It's hiding a lot of stuff that I want to show off. You know, I mean, I don't want it to quite be like this level. Oh, well, maybe. Then you have cloud level, but not, you have cloud layers, but not hugely in the way. So an image like this, that's clearly a graphical image. That is not a picture. But this one is usually going to be a composite. I mean, it could be just they got a clear day. That happens. But a clear day across the entire United States, that's unlikely. I guess it's possible in, like, summer or something. That means extremely dry. we got to worry about the health of the planet. But, yeah, I'm looking for something maybe like that. Or, um, that's a little absurd. That's overkill, right? You can barely even tell that's Earth. It's a blue marble. That's all you can tell. This would be better, though. Just a little bit of cloud cover. You can still totally make out the continents. I can easily tell we're looking at Eurasia and a little bit of Africa over here. You know, I can recognize the continents. Right now, with what we have here, I can kind of make out the continents, but the cloud cover is just too high. So we need to drop down maybe the bump frequency or something, if we can do that. That's a good question. Can we do that? Never mind. We won't let the render finish. Let's see if we can adjust the bump here and see if we can 
maybe improve our lot. So texture value, what do we do here? Texture color, I can't seem to do anything here. Procedural texture, no. Nope. Image texture, no. Um, transformation tools, no. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. Nope. Um, nope. Source editor, no, what the hell? Procedural texture. Okay, I just had, okay, so it's a toggle. Such a weird UI, but all right. Okay, so that's a toggle. So not the image texture, but so we're working off of clouds and I think atmosphere. Oh, basic, interesting. That does seem to be less busy. Okay, and we can drop down, or we wanted to push up the transparency a little bit, right? Let's go 95. It's a little bit of, bunch, bit of a jump, but I think we should be able to make it. Diffusion's down to 10. Huh. Huh. That's really low. Let's go to five, I guess. We can push diffusion here. And I guess drop down no down, down to zero. Let's go five. I mean it's only an idiot, ninety-five percent of transparency. That that I mean I guess I'll figure it out. Okay, then we wanted to move the sun. So let's do that. Um Let's move it oops there or there i'm really puzzled what does this represent this is not the sun's location apparently right so what is it showing is it showing like where on the object the sun will be sh shining on maybe now let's go there, so like on the front of it, kind of. Let's see what that does. The render, unfortunately, is a little bit, or the preview window is not really working. And see, we still got that weird shadow on the back end there. That's not working for me. There. Do that. Still a weird shadow on the back end. There. And we can do a quick render. That's what these other buttons are for. I've totally forgotten which one's which. What is this? This is fast preview mode. Textures on and off. Obviously, we need the textures. Okay, so let's try fast preview mode here. And then render. Okay, so it did that, and we still have a shadow. All right, so give me... Like, how do we get rid of this freaking shadow? Still there. Okay, push it over to there. Okay, see, it really doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Let's turn that off. Like, moving the sun is not having the desired effect, which is weird. Um, let's go, like, full. Let's actually change the direction the sun's coming from. Completely alter it and see if that changes what's going on. Okay, and already you've vastly improved. Now the clouds are totally wrong, right? They would not be bright white that way. But still, I'm liking this. But still, no, something with the sphere. Oh, okay, so we've got an interaction problem here. Yeah, so the sphere we made is covering this side, but not covering the other side. That's why this is weird. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So not really, okay, so I get you. So if I move this over, whoops, all right. Let me do adjust this slightly. And maybe even expand it by a little bit. That's too much. There, maybe. And then give me a render. Yep, yep, that did it. That totally did it. Okay, now the real trick is why the clouds are doing what they're doing. That might be downer diffusion. Um, it's, I mean, I would almost say ambiance, but I don't think that's true. It might be a diffusion problem. All right, let's look at this. Um, look at the map here. So what do we just shut off diffusion like entirely? What happens then? 
Nope, still doing it. Maybe it is ambiance? Ambiance is down to zero. Like, how could that be doing it? Doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, what's 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 going on? Because that is not the way things look in the real world. So reflection zero, refraction. I can't really turn that down any. Volume. Oh wait, the diffuse here. Okay. Maybe. Turn that ambiance off, or at least make it blue, and see if that changes anything. Um, it turned the clouds blue. Not quite what I was after. Interesting effect. Not what I was after. Really interesting effect, though. Super interesting effect, but not really what I'm going for. All right. What the hell's the problem? Um, Specular Hollow, I think Halo, rather, we gotta turn like black. Let's turn the volume black too. Interesting. What is that gonna do to me? What is that gonna do to me? That's gonna make a black world. Right, because the transparency... Yeah, okay. Nope, that totally makes sense now that I think about it for longer than two seconds. So let's change that up. Um, volume is not going to be black. We're going to turn that white again. There you go. Um, so what do we mean transparency? Nope, okay, same problem. Gotcha, gotcha, understood. Um, specular halo is black. Specular, what if we turn that black? Can we turn the ambient black? I think that kills it entirely and makes it a non-existent texture. Am I wrong? I am not wrong. Is there any sign of the atmosphere or whatever? Yeah, kind of. You can kind of see it. There's a little bit of refraction right there. It's definitely doing something. Some weird kind of texturing over here, which I'm not entirely a fan of. But we can always move the sun. Now that we've identified the problem, uh, we can move the sun. But the the atmosphere is only barely, barely, barely visible. And we don't have to have clouds. We don't want them. We don't have to have them. Some weird banding over here. I think that's due to the refraction. Yeah, the refraction is doing something weird over here. So we can hide that by um, moving the sun. So let's do that. Um, so sun, move over this side, please. And see what that does. Okay. Due to the refraction, we're getting a little bit of sun exposure on the far side, but that's okay. Um, the atmosphere is only barely visible. I don't know. This isn't much of an improvement. But you can see some atmosphere over here, which is neat. Um, but you can really see just on like the barest edges, like right there and right there. And not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. And you've got some double banding here because of the way the globe is done. Okay, well, that's not working. Okay, let's, um... Hmm. Hmm. And the thing is, the ambiance is just not working out. We're not working out there. What if we go there? Nope. Nope. But there, and... Yeah, okay, so like a little bit of a combination... It's so like, give me like a really small amount of it, just a five. Give me a five diffusion. And let's see what that gives us. Because I just need like the barest hint of an atmosphere just to make it, make it super obvious it's there. And that does not look like that's going to cut it.
And it looks like the globe zombiance is making some of the textures come through. Which is probably not how real life works. Yeah. Okay. So no, not quite. Not quite there. Give me a... Give me a bump height. No, not negative 37. Do we crazy? Give me like a... I don't know, 20. 20 bump height. Give me a 10 ambiance. Um, transparency should definitely be 95, if not like 97. Um, reflection, give me a little bit of reflection. Give me like two. And see what that's like. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to adjust the globe settings too, because I think maybe the ambiance there is like certainly disrupting some stuff. Or diffusion or something's making these textures pop that they should not be doing. Okay. Okay. Um, excuse me. Got to adjust the planet. Okay, so you're neat and all. You do have 100 diffusion. That's a little crazy. Uh, why don't we drop that down to, like, 50? Ambiance, let's drop that down to... What if we go zero? That might work. Refraction, we need no refraction there. I do not need any of that. But I mean, we could do some of this here. No, that's crazy. Bump height for sure. Uh, give me that in spades. Let's go, like, 50 bump height. Because it's got to, like, feel real, you know? All right, then drop that, or overlay it, rather. Um, yeah, push it a little bit over to the side there. There you go. Okay, render that. Let's see what we got. Okay, that looks a little bit better. It's still giving me some weird shadows on the night side, though. But the bump height, man, that makes it pop. I'm liking that. I just need a little bit more on the cloud layer and we might be good to go. Okay, so what is the deal with that dark side, man? That dark side just messing me up. Okay, so what do we got? I mean, the ambience would be zero. One of the diffusions causing me problems. We'll drop that to zero as well. No diffusion, no ambiance. Is that going to do it? The cloud layer back. Hopefully I won't need to edit the other side of the map. Or the underside, rather. No, it's still doing it. It's still doing it. Yeah, it's still picking up the textures inside here. Why is it doing that? Is it going to do that even if I don't have the fog layer on? Or the, the atmosphere on? No, no, so it's totally picking it up because of the atmosphere. Okay, that's good to know. Because that means I can adjust. But yeah, the bump layer just makes that pop. That's really, that's a good move, I think. Okay, atmosphere, you're fucking with me here, and I don't know why. All right. It's interesting, you see a lot of the, a lot more detail in this than we saw it when it was overlaid. I wonder how much of that is actually on the other side. This is a transparent layer, so we could be seeing stuff on the other side we can't see otherwise. Okay, put you over it. Yeah, that should be pretty lined up, like, there. Yep, okay. All right, um, let's make it... Let's make it shine. Maybe a little bit more ambiance. It's at 10 now. The thing is, we don't want the clouds to glow. But maybe diffuse? Give me a 20 diffusion and a 5 ambiance. Maybe... What happens if we do like zero refraction? I don't know what that's going to do. Let's, let's find out. It's still giving me some texturing over here. So now we know that's cloud layers. We know that's not the underlying globe. 
but it's not showing me an atmosphere at all. Yeah, it's like it's not even there. That's weird. That is super weird. Why is it not even there? It's definitely there. It's overlaying it. What the hell? Um, okay, so refraction. Okay, you can make that 300. Interesting. I wouldn't think that a... What the hell does that even do? 132% makes it like it's freaking marble. Okay, I mean, that's interesting, but not what I'm currently going for. No. Okay, so 100% might be where we want to be for refraction. So let's just do that. Let's do no reflection. I think maybe that's causing some issues. Maybe no bump height. I don't know. What is what is this gonna do? I mean we do have an atmosphere layer. I can see it now. That's really good that I can see it. Um it's definitely there, it's distinct. It's making certain things pop. That's good. I like that. That's good. I think we just need actual clouds, though, that I can see. That'd be great. And then we're good to go. But I can't seem to get that to work. All right. So drop me that bump height. Uh, zero it out. Give me a diffusion color. Um... I mean, it's white. Is that going to work? No, because that is not giving me the pattern I want. So that's not right. Hold on. I've lost everything now. All right. So give me there. Ambient is up. Specular. Let's just push all these over. Oh, no. Not transparency, though. Okay. Then diffusion. Yeah, see, that's going to make it pop all over the place. And I don't want that. Specularity is just going to be weird. And we put bump height up. Maybe reflection? No, that's wrong. Well, maybe not. All right, let's see what this does. No, I mean, it's clear and that's good. And I can see the atmosphere around it, which is also good. But it's not giving me any clouds at all. What happened to all the clouds? Do I need to do diffuse in order to see them? Because that's giving me the wrong impression, I gotta say. If I drop that down. Okay, what if I do that? Thing is, then the clouds would be the wrong color. If I do that, maybe? not giving me any clouds at all now yeah no clouds whatsoever what the hell game I know it's not a game but I'm so used to saying that um ambiance definitely not it okay I don't want it to be ambient right Maybe like a little bit ambiance, but diffusion might be where it's at. 60% diffusion seems crazy. I don't know that's percentage. Is that percentage? It might be. Yes, yeah, definitely percentage. Okay. So, all right. So, 60% diffusion. We definitely maybe like two ambiance. We don't want too much ambiance. Nope, that is totally wrong. That worked out worse than last time. Trouble is now I don't know what my changes are. Let's drop all those back. The ambient see, I'm not sure. It's not showing up at all now. It's because it's too transparent. We definitely drop that down. Maybe some bump height, maybe. I do ambiance, it'll definitely show up, but maybe not in the way I want. But I guess we can try like 
11% ambient, uh, maybe a little bit like that. And I guess we can try that out. Okay. Um, the clouds are showing up only on the night side. And we see a little bit of clouding over here, but they're showing up more on the night side than they are on the light. And that's just craziness. So though, this kind of thing on the light side, that's what I want to see. Except I don't want to see it on the dark side at all. Otherwise, it's just a little bit too much marbling, you know? But it's definitely closer. I mean, that's beautiful day side. That is exactly what I want to see. It's just the light side thing, or the dark side, rather, I don't want to see at all. So why the hell is that happening? My guess is ambiance. Yeah, because then it makes it ambient. The light is ambient, but if we push that over to there... Maybe? Technically zero, but maybe still works. Whoa, okay. Okay, so see, again, the clouds are showing up more on the night side than the light side. What the hell? Than the day side. I'm missing something really obvious. I mean, okay, yeah, I could rotate the sphere. I mean, that's something I could do. Right? Is we can take the sphere, and we can just say, rotate this by, like, Nine degrees or whatever, you know? And there, now suddenly, we've got clouds in exactly the same spot. That's weird. <laughs> I rotated the sphere. That should have done something. But it doesn't seem like it did. That was super weird. All right. That didn't work. Rotating the sphere didn't even work. Okay, so you're fucking with me here, program. What the hell's the deal? So... All right, let's shut up Diffusion and turn it over this way. Maybe it's definitely, man, I'm so weird, out. Like none of this seems to matter at all. Definitely get it like, okay, give me 97% transparency. No reflection. I mean, technically no ambiance or diffusion. It should be taking it from the map. But then it should still be reading it off of how, where the sun's coming from. But apparently it's not, because that looks exactly the same. Okay, why am I going crazy? That's a very good question. I've gone completely mad. We spent an hour and a half on this. And I seem no closer than where I was before. But if I don't have ambient, I'll see ambiance there. Are you being weird with me? Okay, that just made it super, super obvious that it's only on the... I mean, that's a beautiful... It's a gorgeous atmosphere if we just stay to the day side. But this whole night side thing is just not working for me. I mean, I could fix it in Photoshop. I could, like, make it a clear division. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, let's do two renderings then. We'll do one side with the atmosphere clearly done this way and then one with it done another way but let's make it let's make it a blue atmosphere because right now this whole white motif is really not working for me so there do that so we'll do two passes then i think the blue atmosphere makes it feel more alive anyway and then we'll just divide it in half and see how much we can photoshop out of this this is definitely going to take some post-processing. I thought we'd be able to just straight up do it, but maybe not. The benefit is that we can basically just probably just strip away the atmosphere layer when we do the second render. That could work. That could work. Yeah, but we're going to have to do some post-processing because otherwise it's just not going to work. I have no idea why it's making the light bounce around inside the atmosphere when there should be no light on the other side at all. It's frustrating. Also, now I'm not happy with clouds. I'm looking at these clouds and going, well, that's certainly just all over the place. It's not no spirals or anything. Okay. Um, so let's fix up the cloud. Oh, okay, I did not mean to do that back up here. 
that button is just way too close to everything else. All right, I want your map. So atmosphere basic is not going to do it for me. Um, atmosphere two. I don't know, that was too many clouds, wasn't it? I don't know, that has potential. I mean, yeah, maybe too many clouds, but no, we can see if that works. Okay, so what about the star field in the back? We were not able to get that star field working, but maybe with what we've learned now, maybe we can. So give me an infinite plane. Okay. And let's move that over um, like that, and then like, okay, that's not what I want to do, but that's okay. It is showing up on the preview window though, so that's good. And then move you back if I can. That's forward, back, back, okay. That kind of works. You know what? I'm just gonna call that good. Okay, so it does have some kind of texture on it. So let's make it star texture. So we'll do clouds, stars, and yeah, ambiance, specular, diffuse even if you want to. And let's see if that works. So a whole lot of nothing going on right there. What the hell? There are no stars back here. What the hell's going on? Maybe it's the sky and fog. Maybe there's too much fog. Uh, drop the fog. Drop everything down to zero and see if that works. No, it didn't seem to really do anything. All right. Um, whoops, sky and fog. Give me... I guess we can make that black. Does that work? No. Then we get all black. But that should just affect the, yeah, all that does is affect the render behind it, but that doesn't actually make the star any more visible. Why the hell not? So many tiny little problems. Give me, oh, maybe the diffusion and ambience have to be there. And then I'll show some stars. Nope, no stars. What the hell's the deal? Okay, can we get rid of that? I thought for sure we'd be able to do celestial stars amount. Give me a little bit of intense stars and go from there. But no luck. The stars are not showing up in the background. You see them those little points of light, like, you know, stars. What the hell? Uh, give me no stratus. I mean, no fog, no haze. We just want the celestial in the star. Yeah, like that. That's exactly right. Okay, give me a few more stars there. That's intensity. All right, drop the intensity down to like 40. And we said like 10,000 stars before. Let's go for that. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I just had in the atmosphere on that was blocking all the stars. All right, so now we're going to do this in two renders, right? We're going to do this one with our beautiful sweeping clouds and our atmosphere, where I think it mostly works. Is that what I want? Yeah, yeah, I think this could work. I think this works out. I think because we rotated the sphere, uh, the atmosphere is actually probably about right. We do have some interrupted cloud patterns, which is strange. I don't entirely get that. Might be able to change that patterning though. Let's um see what we can do there. So this one right here, give me a map. We want to change the way, yeah, not world space. Give me spherical. Let's see how that changes the patterns here. Okay, I mean, that is spherical. Not quite what I intended, but an interesting effect nonetheless. Um, it definitely seems to be like spiraling out, which is cool, but not, not, not what I want. Not what I want. Cool effect though. 
Okay, so spherical is not it. Cylindrical? Interesting. What does that do? Almost exactly the same thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just giving us some banding. We're not trying to duplicate Jupiter here, so or Uranus for that matter, or any of the gas giants. So I don't think that's going to work for me, but interesting effect. It just seemed to be point one right there. We should, if we're going to do this, we should hide that. But that's not that's not what I want. Um, all right, we remember world map is our original setting. Parametric. I have no idea. Let's see. Okay, we definitely get some circular movement, but no spirals. I only want to see spirals because that's how storms form, and we got some weird banding over here. Um, yeah, that's not going to quite work. I could rotate the sphere for sure. But that's not quite right either. It's okay, we have a bunch of other options. I'm just going to test these out. Um, Sinoidal. I have no idea. Let's try it out. Okay, again, we seem to have a pinpoint here, but that might be okay. I mean, that's going to be on the dark side anyway. If we're going to have anything like that, we'd want it over on the light side because that's actually where we're going to put it. Um, or where we're going to, we're going to be able to actually see it. Here, it doesn't really seem to do much. No, no, that's not going to work for me either. Um, let's see. Give me random. That might be a little bit too noisy, but we'll see. Um, well, that's some interesting cloud patterns you've got there. Would actually explain a lot about RimWorld if clouds, in fact, did move that way. But no, that actually just fucks with my head a little bit. That is almost Cthulian. If we were making a Lovecraft mod, this might be the world we end up with. But we're not going to do that. So let's not let's not go any further down that road. That's not going to work. Okay. Um, world front. Or I could do like symmetric tiling, decal colors, alpha scaling. Actually, there's a bunch of different options here. Parametric scaled. I don't know. We could rotate the sphere back over and see. Um, okay. Kind of a gentler kind of... Okay, interesting. Might need to rotate the sphere for sure to hide that weird center point it seems to be growing off of, but... I mean, not quite where I want to be, but interesting nonetheless. It does seem to be focused on the uh, on the pole, which does make sense. Object space. We try object. World space is where we started. I don't know if we want to go back there yet. Okay. Okay, no, this is interesting. We're still not seeing many of those spirals, though, but that might be okay. Got a little bit of a storm front over here. I guess spirals usually bad, right? That'd be like hurricanes. You definitely want to see some cloud cover, but not necessarily spirals. Maybe we just need to get away from the idea of spirals entirely. But okay, now this could work. This looks almost natural. A little bit busy, maybe, but still kind of works out. Yeah, okay, we'll let this render finish. And the stars in back, and we'll strip away the atmosphere and take a picture there. We'll render that one. And we'll combine them together and see how that goes. Four minutes, it says. Huh, more complicated than I thought. Yeah, I mean, we could just use the room world that we have, um, which is over here somewhere. Um, not the small map. Where did I put that? Very good question. Where did I put that? Um, pretty sure in YouTube resources, right? 
Maybe not. In thumbnails. That's the... No, that's not it. That's not it either. That's the Bryce save. Homeworld screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but looking at these now, compare these. No way, right? This looks much more realistic. And especially once we strip away the whole night side cloud thing, it should be fine. Let's compare this to a picture on Earth. Okay, but most of the pictures taken from Earth don't usually have like it divided, right? They usually don't. That's cute. And annoys me, but okay. I mean, that's a neat picture. I think we do something like that. The thing is, that's showing off the night side. We might have a couple of sparks on the night side, but it won't be as nearly that much. That's a neat photo. But clearly the sun's like right over here. Yeah, most of the pictures of the planets are going to be... I mean, clearly that's photoshopped. Looks like they took a picture of the Earth with the atmosphere and just threw it against a backdrop. That's horrifying. Um... Yeah, I mean, you see some of the cloud layers here. That's also strangely horrifying. I mean, I know that's what's inside of our planet, but that's still disturbing. That's disturbing on multiple levels. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Nope. That's, um, that's somebody's rendering. Yeah, not a whole lot of divided shots. I mean, there's this one. We can definitely see the clouds you don't you're not able to tell. You can kind of see like an edge of it. But they're definitely like dimmer. Yeah. Yeah, where you can see a little bit of the edge of the clouds on the light on the dark side there. But it's not as it's not as prevalent as what we're seeing here. Or like look here. See a clear division right there. Oh, that looks like that's taken through a window. That might be from the ISS. Um, hmm. anything else with the dark side of Earth? There we go. There here we go. See, that shows like a clear delineation. And the clouds just, yeah, they just go into blackness, which makes sense. That totally makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and that too. It's funny there's no lights at all. That's a little weird. Maybe this is taking like the north or south pole where there'd be less lights on it. But you can definitely tell what happens in the clouds. Okay, so yeah, that's what I want to see. Now, I think our rendering definitely has... And we don't have to, like, completely obscure the dark side. We'll see what it looks like on the other render. Yeah, but this will give us a good idea of what we want to shoot for. Now, this is definitely farther away, so you don't see as much of the atmosphere. We can just say our rim world has a big atmosphere. Like that a little bit. It doesn't diffuse as much though right yeah there's not as much as that diffusion so this looks clearly artificial hmm how can we work with that i mean diffusion is the wrong word but you know what i mean it kind of pushes out from the planet so what we could do we'll wait for this to finish rendering what we could do is put like um put like a circle behind it that glows. I still want the cloud pattern, so I think this is important to save. But hmm, it means like a composite, like three different images could do it. It just gets really complicated really fast. At this rate, I'm not going to have time to play video games. I'm not bothered about this particular piece of cloud, but most of that's going to go away when we divide it uh, to the day-night cycle, so that's okay. But really, if you compare that to this, which is professionally done, you can see you get a lot of diffusion over on this side so that more of this is lit up than probably should be, especially if that's the light source. There must be a secondary light source 
over here somewhere that's really lighting this up because there's no way that red sun lights this up this much there's just no way the the patterns don't match up so there's definitely some artistic um license going on here which is fine okay that's done i'm going to save this um export yeah save image as um let's go for um rim world clouds okay um drop back out let's get rid of the atmosphere boop um let's see can i do a flat yeah there we go that's light okay there we go flat yeah not as big as i want it to be or arranged in the right way that's curved right now it's off the side rather let's rotate that um around that way make it just a little bit bigger than the sphere we want it around that is not perfectly circular or is it it is isn't it it totally is all right never mind it's just not wrapping around the sphere the way i expect it to be which is weird is this perfectly circular it's got to be it's not that is an oval that looks circular when you make it small but almost anything will look circular when you make it small that why is this not a perfect circle it's disturbing okay now it looks circular so i don't know what's up i i don't know Okay, I just want it just a little bit. Mm, yeah, I wonder if maybe it's not perfectly flat against the. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit bigger than I want. It's okay. We can shrink that. Um, bit by bit. Okay, I just need to be. Okay, no, no, no. That that should do. That should do. That should do. Edge over like here. We just want the atmosphere to glow. So, what material do we want on this? It's a good question. Um, definitely want some. I don't think we want any kind of components over here. I don't think we want any textures. I think we just want it to glow. So, give me a blue, because apparently auction is blue. Um, same with diffuse. Give me blue. Now, that diffusion and ambiance might be too much, but we'll see. Right, let's see what that does. Does that do anything? Okay. Okay. That does kind of work, but not quite realistic, right? We want it to kind of fade off into space. That seems like a very hard line, which is interesting. And definitely seems to almost be right, actually. No clouds at all, but that's okay. Like I said, we can always uh, we can always Photoshop in the clouds if we need to. Okay. So if we can make this trail off into space a little bit, we'll be in the right ballpark, I think. Um, so. Give me a material here. How do we make it do that? Maybe Specular Halo? Give me a blue there and kind of maybe so that'd be specularity give me like a let's go let's go crazy let's say 50 right now um drop the ambiance down to like 10 drop the diffusion down to like 80 and we'll see how well that goes okay And this still looks like a hard line. We'll wait until this renders a little bit more to see how well this works. But this might have actually been closer. It's funny that the sphere doesn't get what I want, but the the flat circle does. Yeah, it definitely looks more like a hard line. Let's compare this to some Earth photos again. Yeah, see how it kind of glows there? I mean, that might just be an artist rendering. Do we have, like, an actual picture? The actual pictures are, like, up here, right? So give me a... 
Yeah, see, so you barely see it there. I guess we do want... Yeah, see, that's totally artist rendering. Given the dark side was a little bit there. A little bit too much artistic license, if you ask me. But yeah, anything that has... Okay, so that's purely artistic. That is not how it is in real life. I mean, you do get a little bit there. Which is neat. But to get that, you'd probably need a sphere with some specular halo, definitely a lot of transparency, and a little bit of ambiance. But only if we were zooming in that close, which we are totally not doing. So I think maybe we make it brighter, a brighter yellow, or brighter, brighter blue, rather. Yellow would also be interesting if you want to make a yellow atmosphere, but I do not. Um, so give me a, a brighter blue. Yeah, there you go. Brighter blue for you, brighter blue for you. And see what that does for me. Uh, it's still really dark. It's weird. It might be the ambience is too low to be able to really uh, pick up the right colors. I still need 10. We did like a 100%. It might be too light. We'll see. Okay, no, that's exactly what the other pictures are doing, right? They're doing exactly this. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, but that little reminds me of... Um, that one almost, so it doesn't do the glow necessarily. You could do the glow in Photoshop. Yeah, maybe Bryce is the wrong tool for this. The glow in Photoshop would probably be closer. Um, all right, we could try... We could try that. Um, the thing is, we'd have to... So we already have the star field done. So we can delete this um, here. We can get rid of the star field entirely. Um, hide the celestial. And then it'll just be black, which is okay. Yeah, then it's just black. And then we can Photoshop on top of the star field we already have. And then maybe we even make it glow. Um, and then we can drop out the black and all the other stuff. And maybe put in the cloud layer. Who knows? This is obviously not going to take very long because there's not very much fraction to do. Basically, it's just a sphere with a bit of bump mapping on it. Cake, right? Total cake. One thing I also want to try is um, there is an earth, an island texture. So this is the generated Rimworld, or sorry, generated Dwarf Fortress map. But what if we made it uh, completely random based on some uh, bump map texturing? not actually completely random it is kind of derived by the texture but still has interesting possibilities this looks so plain though but we'll we'll touch it up it's interesting you can kind of see the black in there so it should be this black here when we take it out should not affect anything else theoretically we might get some little bits and pieces around but it shouldn't be too terribly bad Okay, so that's it there. We're going to save this image. So this is... Oh, nope. Not save the file. Save the image. There you go. All right, so this is Rome World. Um, no Atmo. Okay. And then we're going to change up our texture a little bit. So just counting all the work we did in Dwarf Fortress... What if we just did procedural texture and give me a bump map of new planet? No, not new planet. Um, Earth. And give me the ambiance of Earth, maybe. No, maybe not. It looks super dark. Not sure why it's that dark. 
What does this do? That is incredibly dark. Why are the blues that dark? Otherwise, it looks fine, but the, the oceans are so, so dark. Why is it so dark? How do we be able to see what I'm looking at here? Come on. Uh, specular? I mean, we can move all these over. Okay. Maybe? Or did I have the right idea after all? Yeah, that does not work for me. You don't see any of the shading. That's just... It looks like a totally fake picture. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's just drop that. Whatever. Okay, go into here, and we had RW something or other, right? I just say RimWorld. I just say RimWorld. All right, so RimWorld Clouds, RimWorld Atmo. Okay, so, or no Atmo, rather. So there's you. What if I were to select a color range over here? Kill it. Oh, nope, sorry. That's right. Have to make a background first. Um, so sorry, what I want to actually do is select everything. So select all. Copy. Go into a new, because the JPEG is just going to be weird. Give me 300 PPI. There you go. Okay. Now here, I want to select the color range there. Kill it. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. All right. I mean, I kind of like this. We're obviously, it's obviously transparent back there, which is good. Um, hmm. Now, if I make this glow, what exactly is going to happen here? So let's drop a black background behind it. There. And the hell's... There we go. Let's give me a black background back here. Okay, looks the same, right? But now we can actually manipulate this a little bit better, maybe. So give me layer... Correct one selected. There you go. Give me a glow. An outer glow. That is totally not going to work, is it? Because it's going to highlight some of the continents. Yeah, it's not going to work. So that layer is not going to work. What I need to do... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Get rid of that then. Um, copy this into a new one. So what I'm going to have to do instead is I'm going to have to grab this circle. Um, I thought I'd be able to cheat, but I'm not going to be able to do it. So I want to grab this in a circular fashion. Fortunately, it's a globe, so it should be pretty much circular. The trouble I always have with the circle tool is being able to grab this properly, right? It's like that almost works. I'm going to cut some of this off, and that's going to cut off some of the... Yeah, it's not going to quite work. So I'm going to need to do this in stages. Um, so I know that grabs everything I want. So I'm going to uh, copy that. Go into a new one at 300. Paste it. Okay. Now I'm going to have to grab this from here. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be just so weird. I always have trouble selecting what I want. The shift does make it a perfect circle, though. So I just need to make this size properly, I guess. And okay, let's go from here. Okay. Now, see, this, this indicates that despite best appearances, this might not be a complete circular object. All right, let's go from this corner, maybe. It's a little bit too large. Definitely don't want to go there. Go from here. And there is close. That is so freaking close. Okay, maybe from here. Nope, a little higher than that. I just have so much trouble with the circle select tool. That is definitely really close, right? That's almost... I'm going to have to grab this in pieces. Yeah, okay, so I had the right idea. So let's crop. Um, cropping is not going to do it. I need to cut. Cut and go to a new, uh, oops, okay, 
kill this one. I don't need that anymore. It's good to clean up, because otherwise I'm going to forget which ones I want, which ones I don't. Okay. Then we do the same thing from this side. And, okay, that almost did it. That is so close. That is right along where I want to be. Except, not quite. Can I move it? Okay, yeah, well, no, that's not going to do it. All right, nope. Get rid of all that. Uh, keep on stepping backwards. So close yet so far away. All right, over this way. Nope. Over this way. Still nope. Son of a biscuit. All right, here, here, here. That's so fucking close. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. It cuts off a lot of stuff, but no, I need, I need like a, a slightly better rendition of that. That might do it. That'll do it right there. Cut that. Go back over here. And no, go back over here. Or I don't even know, man. Go back over somewhere. Go back somewhere. Don't no, go to a new place. Go to a new place. Okay. Okay. Now give me... What do I want? I want the star field, huh? Okay. Well, I can do that here, right? Easily enough if I just... Drop that entirely and go to sky and fog and turn back on the stars. That gonna work. It will totally work and just give me a, a blank star field. This should render in no time flat. And then we just place it against the star field. Now granted, these don't look much like stars. They look like just little, well, I don't know, pinpoints of light. What do you, more do you want from stars? It's about as good a rendering of stars as you're gonna get by looking out the night sky. Could take a picture of a night sky, but that would just be weird. Not to mention it would take a long delay camera. I don't know, the intensity here is not exactly right, but who's gonna be paying attention to that, right? We just want a backdrop. And this render will probably do a better job than anything I'd be able to do on my own. Basically, it's a bunch of stipling. Stippling? I don't know. Basically, you can, if you're doing this by hand, I don't know why you would, but theoretically, if you were to do it by hand, You'd lay out a black piece of paper, and with a white crayon or marker or whatever it is, um, basically just poke it a bunch of times, and you come up with some random pattern like this. Take you, like, probably an hour and a half to just poke in kind of random directions until you got something you're kind of sort of happy with. This is much faster, obviously, done in a minute and a half, or however long this is actually going to take. Doop 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 as it goes doop 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 make this the rendering song doop 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 there you go the rendering song is successful let's save image as this is just gonna be stars okay I was gonna put an exclamation point but then I realized that um Windows is not like that so we're gonna open up stars which is in here somewhere Stars. There we go. Okay. We are going to drop this bad boy right here on top of stars. There you go. Okay. We can move this about, do anything we want with it, which actually is really kind of disturbing. But still, it looks kind of cool. All right. Then um, we're going to do the layer thing that we talked about before. Except this time it'll be in a circle. There you go. There you go. Let's make that blue. Some type of blue. Um, hmm. Like there, maybe? Something like that. Okay, that kind of works. Give me a spread. Yeah, a little bit there. Um, give me a little bit of jitter out the outside. Um, we definitely want to be softer. 
The spread's not quite going the way I expect it to, though. So what does size do? Oh, okay, we can go totally nuts. Um, kind of a fan of that. The spread's a little bit much. But if we go like there... Oh, yeah, that kind of gives the diffusion I want. That totally does it. That's actually great. I'm a fan. It makes it look like there's an atmosphere without actually giving an atmosphere, which is maybe the best thing ever. Okay, that kind of works. That might even be the right blue. Let me adjust the blue a little bit. Maybe like it a little bit darker. I make it like that dark. Can't really tell the difference. If I push it up that oh, that's way too blue. Now that's the wrong blue. That's probably about right. We can fiddle with this all day, but that's that's probably about right. There right there. That's the good blue right there. That works. Okay. Okay, this totally works. We can move this about. Dewey. A little crazy there. Alright, so now we need to put in the cloud layer, and this is where things get tricky. How are we going to do this? Because, and assuming we want the cloud layer, which maybe we don't. So we can get rid of this. That looks, so compare this to that. This looks so much better to my eyes. I mean, this is an exact representation, and we could probably... We could probably grab this the same way we grabbed the other one, right? It's just going to take so long to do this. Okay, where exactly is this world? The world starts there. That's the North Pole. That's the South Pole. I wonder if this will make it easier to grab. Maybe? I don't know. I've, I've only rarely used the circle tool, but I wonder if like going from here and doing this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That totally helped. That totally helped. Okay. Not perfect, but good enough for government work. Um, so copy that and drop it into a new world here. Um, there's a bit of blackness about it that I'm not a fan of, and I think it's because I went over the edges there, but okay, no, so we just moved this out a smidge, not a whole lot, just a smidge, scientific term for just that much, just a smidge, just a smidge on all sides, like that, then we do the circle, I totally should have done this with the Bryce. We can do it again. I mean, there's no harm in it. Now that we know what we want to do. Um, now, see, that's grabbing the wrong... Okay, so now maybe we need to move it in just a smidge. Do there. I want it touching the globe, right? I want it touching the globe on all sides, right? There. Just touch the North Pole. Just say hello to Santa. You don't have to stop for cookies. You just need to say hello to Santa, all right? And down here, just say hello to the penguins. Just wave at them. Say hi. Just go right over their heads, and there you go. All right. So now if I shift, so it's a perfect circle, and there you go. That's ideal, I think. I think we've got it. He can be taught. That's decent. I think that works. I don't think we'll be able to tell much on the... If we do that and then move it on the stars, let's hide this. Paste this in. Do the whole glow thing that we were doing before. And let's see if we need to spend that last hour or not. <laughs> uh, okay. I make this blue, same as we did before. Um, that blue right there is fine. And then we do the spread like we did before. For the size, one of those. And I don't know. I don't know. Really? Don't know. Let's compare these two side by side. I like this one better. I think because of the texture and everything, it just makes it look more real. 
Let's try to bring in the cloud layer. So... Do, 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 do. I don't have it in here, do we? So we were going to do this, except what we should do is... um the hell is this thing? It's not what I want. It's no Atmo, which I guess we want to grab. Because that's not what we want to grab, right? That's not it. And that's definitely not it, so get rid of that. Um, this we no longer need. Thanks for your help. No longer need you. Okay, so... Yeah, we can get rid of this too. Okay, but that's what we want to do though. We want to line this up. So, let's drop this here, because then I can just select the globe, right? So, again, say hello to Santa. Um, just touch the globe. Just touch it. There. I think you're touching it there. All right. Then, my problem right here is the edge of the globe is actually down here. It's past the edge of the map, or edge of the world, or edge of the universe, as far as it's concerned. Then over here, we do have a weird texturing thing going on there. I don't entirely know what that's up with that. So it's a little hard to tell where exactly the globe ends, but we'll say there. And there. Now, if that's touching correctly, this should just work. And really, we probably only need this side, but we'll see. Okay, that seems to have worked a lot better. Look at that. That's about right, I think. Let's grab this, move it to a new location. 300, thank you very much. Okay, not perfect, but pretty good. Now, if we do the same exact thing, what I want to do is I want to drop the cloud one. It should be exactly the same idea, but I'll drop it right on this and copy it in. So, do, 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 it's like RW something or other, right? Untitled, isn't it? Romoral Clouds, there we go. Yes, yeah, so if I do that there, copy that, take it over to Noatmo, paste it in. Okay, the cloud layer does extend past it, which makes good sense, right? That makes good sense. So... Instead, we push this out. Hmm, means we're not going to be able to use the exact same circle to grab it. But that's okay, because we don't want the entire cloud layer, right? We actually only want the light side of the cloud layer. Which means the circle does not have to be perfect at all. Um, so here, I can grab this here. Yeah, it's definitely not perfect, but that's okay. I can grab that. And here, paste it. It's pretty good, right? I think. But we want to like divide half of this. So I'm going to take the cut tool here, basically do a line here. Oh, okay, that did not work out the way I thought it was going to, but that's all right. Right there, and then double click, and that should just line it up. Okay. We're day-night cycle, but it still kind of works. Oh, that looks weird as hell, doesn't it? We need some sort of fade, I think. Yeah, especially since the day-night cycle is actually... Oops, wrong one. Okay, back up. The day-night line is actually a little bit further than that. It's not at the exact 90-degree point. It's like... Where is it? Here, pretty much. Yeah, it's about there. So, there we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. So, what if we grab this? Um, yeah, this top layer. Just copy this. Go back over to stars, where this is. Paste this in. Hmm. The trouble is, yeah, it doesn't quite work, but we can make this work. Um, we need to turn off the glow, though. 
Okay, let me get rid of that glow. Um, can we just get rid of the layer? I think we can, right, by going out of glow and just shut it off. There you go. Okay. So then we just move that perfectly in line here if we can. Uh, but the trouble is, is that going to work? My problem is that the one with the shadow or the one with the atmosphere is a little bit bigger than the one without it. That's on purpose. But so like if I merge these layers, which I'm totally gonna do right now for totally disrespect any possibility. Oh no, we still have it over here, so that's okay. Okay, so let's just merge these on top of each other. And then do the glow from here, but I don't think it's going to work out as well as I want it to. Yeah. That looks funky. Okay. That could still work, though. So what we have on this side is we have both planets occupying the same space, right? We can just toggle them. Whoops. Toggle them between. And you see exactly where the where the copy line lines up. So what we do is use this as our guiding line, and we can extract the visible clouds, but not the atmosphere, which we don't need anyway. Yeah, okay. Weird but doable. Alright, so we need to line this up again. Say hello to Santa. Right there. Go out and come back in. Just makes it a little bit easier to adjust. This one I'm not sure about, so I'm going to drag this one all the way out because I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. We might not even need this one. I think we just need two points and we should be fine. Because this should make it so we grab the stuff we want to grab. And I think that's exactly working out. All right, copy this and over here, kill those two layers. I don't care. Um, what? <laughs> That's the wrong. What did you do? Oh, I copied it. That's hilarious. I totally copied the other one. How did I do that? It didn't even show up. I right, copy. Paste. Okay, there we go. And then grab the other one. Copy merge just to be on the safe side. And paste. Okay, this should be identical. Right? We just didn't toggle back between these two. And then we have our, our cloud layer. Okay, so now we just need to get rid of on a dividing line here. So we can match it up to this line now. So it looks like it's right. I wish I had. Can I make it a diagonal line here? No. I can pinpoint, but that's not exactly going to do it. But it does look like it's there. I can't quite line that up. All right. So here, I guess. Oh, what? No, that's not going to work out. Sorry. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. All right, okay, I need to click, not hold down. So right about here to right about there is kind of where the night side is, it looks like. Okay, so assuming that's correct, show this and cut. And that's what we'll be pasting in. The thing is, we got to diffuse this a little bit because this is a little bit too. It looks too clean, right? There's no way nature is going to be that clean. So what I've got to do for this, let's get rid of these two because these are just going to be disturbing or distracting. Okay, so what I need to do for this is somehow diffuse this line a little bit. I have like a brush tool or something to kind of make that happen. There's going to be something over here. Let's see. The eraser might do it. Let's 
give me a give me a view of the tool here. Um, yeah, give me a brush. See, those are too clean. I need something a little bit more like airbrushing, maybe. Need to airbrush this. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. That's about right. We can make this dirty as we like, right? That does not look clean at all. That looks exactly the kind of effect I wanted. Yeah, okay. That kind of works. That looks less clean now. That actually looks decent. All right, there you go. Okay, so we wanna grab everything here. Grab this, copy merged. We're gonna push this on the stars over here. Get rid of that and paste this in instead. Oops, okay, yep, that's uh, that's what you get when you copy merged. Uh, go back, get rid of the background and now copy merged. So little details. Uh, nope, not that one, this one. Paste that in, there you go. That looks pretty good. And then on top of that, we're gonna do the layer effect. A viral glow. Uh, we're gonna make that blue. Uh, dark blue, I think works out pretty well. And give it a little bit of a spread. Or no, it needs to be size, huh? Size out first. Spread low. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That looks pretty decent. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. I mean, I think it might even be better than the professional one done by the by NASA. This is the one done by a NASA artist. The atmosphere is like way too thick, I think. And it shows some diffusion over here on the night side, which makes no sense. The light's coming from the wrong angle. Just a whole bunch of weird problems with it. But this one that we just made, look at this. This looks, this looks so good to me right now. I mean, maybe I'm just full of myself, and that's totally fine. But I'm happy with this. Yeah, the stars could use some work. We could use a little bit more brush work maybe on the cloud layer, but there's a clear division between night and day that makes perfect sense. We could dot this with a couple of lights if we wanted to. I want to go like above and beyond. Let's go a little bit above and beyond. What the hell? I've done this for like two hours now. Two and a half hours. I was not expecting to spend this much time. Um, let's go in here. And okay, we got a little bit of more of the of the night side here, but don't that's okay. Nobody will notice that. So what colors do we want in here? We just want little tiny pinpricks of light. How are we gonna do this? Brush tool seems appropriate, but this brush is too big. So um, we want a better brush here. Scattering's not a bad idea. I want a new layer too, so I don't interfere with this layer. Just in case, like if I don't like whatever I'm doing, then we can always get rid of it. Um, so give me some lights. I want probably yellow, right? That seems to make the most sense because it'll be fires. Yellow or orange, I think would work out just fine. Okay, and we also want something really tiny, right? 30 is like way too big, or 13 pixels is way too big. Let's go five. Five could work. And again, this is the kind of dimpling I was mentioning before. Um, kind of neat effect, I think. Kind of shows that there's civilization here, but only just. Because that's not nearly as much night lights as there would be Otherwise, the thing is, some people are going to say, well, why are the stars on the dark side of your planet? Is your planet transparent? With, without. With, without. With. 
It looks better without, doesn't it? It totally does. So much for above and beyond. Totally not necessary at all. I'm happy with this. This looks really good. I'm totally on board. Save as. PNG. I'm going to just do a flat. Yeah, I'm just going to flat. This is just going to be flat. Um, do we need room for the Let's Play, the logo, all that stuff. So I think being off to the side is fine. Uh, we can move this wherever if we want to do any last minute changes. So I can get rid of this thing here. But yeah, if we want to move this around, we totally can. We have a flat star field. We can do whatever we want with it. Put it over here. Um, put it over this way, go over that way, whatever we want. Here, out in the middle, probably, or in the, has kind of a field of view thing where I've initially had it rendered, is probably about right. The atmosphere glow is just, it's an artistic thing, right? Our planet doesn't actually do that, but it makes it look cool, and I think that's good enough. We shouldn't be able to see a star through it, but that's a side issue. You're going to see stars through it no matter what, I think. Yeah, no matter where you place this, you're going to see some stars through it. That's just how it goes. What we could do... Is put a secondary glow on it that's black. That, like, overwhelms the... Can we do that? Can we put a layer on top of a layer and make that work? So what I'd have to do then... And this is going like stupid above and beyond, but maybe. So what I have to do then is um, we have to take this, select all, copy it, um, go to another new one. So get rid of you and get rid of, uh, let's, let's keep this one around just in case. Do a new one here. Um, again, 300 PPI, please. Okay. This does not have a layer on it, right? So we need to do that. So I'm going to expand the canvas size by... Let's make it an even... Let's go four on both sides. It's probably more than we need. That's okay. And do our layer style here. So this is going to be the outer glow. Do the blue here. We just have to redo everything, unfortunately. It's just how Photoshop works. Um, so the outer glow there. Make the size big. Like the spread uh, spreads about right and if we really want to make sure we can always put a um, black background on it to make sure so let's do that um, black and a square right there and that does look about right that looks about right okay so what we do is how are we going to do this I can't flatten it exactly. What I can do, though, is... Yeah, there we go. Flatten image. Discard in layers. Yeah, the thing is, then it gets the white in. Can we select the white and get it out? That's the real question. I don't know. It's going to do something funky for sure. Oh, right. Um, yeah, you can't do that, except it, you need a background image to go on um so select all copy get another new one okay and then select color range here and delete delete oh because the background's there right okay with that done, I'm going to grab this, copy it, go back to stars, get rid of this, show this, go here. Yeah, it's weird, right? Oh, and the diffusion is based off of the background color. So it grabs some of the white diffusion instead of the black. Um, we can fix that. Can fix that. Um, so get rid of this. 
go here. Um, so this diffusion is wrong, right? Because the background color's got to be black. So so we introduce a new layer. Drop it back. Um, nope, can't put it in the background. Um, I need to redo the whole thing, huh? So I need to copy it from here. Do a background layer of black. So zoom out a little bit here. A background layer that's black. Uh, that's white. I don't know if you noticed. Let's try that again. That's still white. What the hell? <laughs> there. That's probably the right way to do it the first time. Okay. Now we want to go grab you and paste you here. Do the whole layer thing that we did a thousand times before. Oh. Did I not do the... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No, because I didn't copy merge. That's why. Copy merged. Paste. There we go. Um, then do the layer thing that we were talking about before. Outer glow. Um, make it blue. It's a different shade of blue every time. Just how it goes sometimes. Um, there you go. That'll work. Okay. Then we flatten it, but then the black is going to... That could be okay because then it'll be all the star in the background, so that might be all right. So flatten this. Right? And then... So now it's flat. We need to grab it and post it someplace else. So that now I can select the black layer, assuming it lets me do that. It seems to have done. Okay. Now select all and copy. Go back over to stars, paste it in. Um, did you not paste in somehow? I do something else entirely? Copy merge, just to be on the safe side. Go to stars, paste it in. Why are you being weird? There's stuff here. I see it, you see it, I see it, we all see it. Select all, copy, go to stars, paste in. There you go. Okay, we do have a small problem in that you can in fact see it through the stars, but, but that's easily fixable. Because we have this wonderful thing called circles that can totally replace this um, this background here. So we can do new object behind it and make a perfect circle uh, once we line up two little things. So line up that, line up that. We've learned how to do this. We learned. You can be taught. I'm going to make a circle right behind here that obeys that. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Okay, and then, 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 um, we grab this, and we say, you know what? I would really like an outer layer for this. Outer glow, so to speak, except I want it to be black. And I want that to spread out, like, super far. And then, theoretically, because of that, and that, and maybe even that, when we move those around, it should hide the star. Yeah, it does. It hides the stars. So then they don't show up inside the atmosphere. All of that for a simple little thing that probably most people aren't going to give two shits about. <laughs> but it worked, and that's the important thing. And I think we still got a nice glow. It still works out. Um... So I can merge these layers. That's probably fine to do. Merge those layers. So let's compare this. I don't know what this is doing. I have no idea. Get rid of that. I have no idea what this is. Get rid of that. Let's compare these two. So this one here. 
that one, and that one. Oh, see how the stars fade out a little bit? No, see, that's just... That's just too well done. I can't fight that. That's... that's We need that. We definitely need that. Yeah, you can kind of see as like a black hole moving along here. But it makes it so that... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not a perfect effect. But the fact that it dims the stars there, it makes sense, right? Because the planet's fucking glowing. So, of course, it's going to dim the lighter things from it. So, no, this makes sense to me. I'm totally okay with this. Okay, I'm going to save this as a, as a PSD file so I can mess around with the placement. So that's probably going to be pretty important to how I structure the thumbnail. But that's going to be my new thumbnail for RimWorld. The neat thing is I can put in um, the uh, logo. Let's grab the logo here. Um, probably grab not in a circle, thank you very much. Grab the old decayed one, because I like that one better, I think. And paste that in. That's a little small. But uh, we'll make this work. So what that probably means... My thumbnails are, I think, 1280 by 720. So that probably means that my... Render is super big. So how big is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, put that down to 720. Is smaller, but that's okay. Get on screen. And go back to the logo. There you go. That totally works. Yeah. That looks much better. So what I'm going to have to do, I mean, <laughs> so that took almost two and a half hours. I'm going to have to do that again when, uh, when my colony fails. And you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. It's a win, not an F. So that's going to be fun. What I should probably also do, maybe next time, we won't do it now, is some, like, gradation in the lighting here. Because I think maybe the, the clouds here are a little bit too lit up for something so close to the night side. But for right now, this looks a lot better. Look at, that, look at what we've improved on. So this is what I had before. This looks like junk now. This looks crappy. I'm going to give her to this too sweet. Thank you very much. This is the last thing I generated. This is also in Bryce. But this looks like crap now. Yeah, maybe I don't want to change the size just yet. Um, let's just do... Let's back up. There you go. So that should be the proper size now. That should be the big one. Yeah. So I might just grab this as is. But that's okay. Let's save this as a PSD. Um, so this will be RimWorld screen. Why do I have a RimWorld screenshot? PSD. Oh, that's a screenshot one. Okay, well, that was junk anyway, so we'll definitely overwrite that. Yep, yep. Okay. That's going to be the base of my new thumbnail. That's fantastic. And what do you know? It took me only, only two and a half hours to do. <laughs> well, that's the power of Bryce. Bryce made that a lot easier than it. Could have been, I think, combined with Dwarf Fortress and a little bit of Photoshop know-how. And I think that totally worked out. Probably have to do this all over again, but that's still pretty cool. So, yeah, we ended up with something I think I'm happy with. Um, not that. But this. So there you go. Thanks for watching on PC Universe, PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.